What do we have here? This is a F62 Model F keyboard replica from modelfkeyboards.com. This particular unit uh, was serial number 85, and with the early number, with the early serial number options and everything else that I had added on to it, it amounted to four hundred and twenty dollars. And I can tell you, it is worth every single penny. Um, zinc case construction. This is uh, more than a few pounds. It's taking a bit of effort for me to actually lift this thing up. Uh, this is the uh, standard F62 key variety, uh, meaning it's using uh, what is commonly known in the keyboard circles as a Kish Saver case. Uh, a particular note about this particular model, you'll notice that the backspace key is a split backspace key uh, layout common to the Happy Hacker keyboards. That means the control key is right here, and this is actually currently mapped as a caps lock key. Uh, now, it is really of special note that every single key on this keyboard can be remapped using the IBM CapSense software that you can download for this particular X What's It keyboard controller that runs the whole show here. Um, so, I'm not going to show too much more other than if we take a look at the back, for example. You can see it's taking me a bit of effort to actually move this thing around. Um, it actually, there is a considerable, uh, it, literally the case is extremely considerable zinc construction here. Uh, every unit has a serial number printed on the back of it along with the model information. Uh, there are also four cork uh, legs that you can affix to the bottom there they have adhesive so you can take and adhe adhere them wherever you wish and uh, it's easy enough to get inside this guy everything is screwed in and unlike the model M's there are no rivets holding the back plates uh, in place so you can fully take this thing completely apart uh, comfortable wrist position here. Uh, you have uh, dip. Uh, you have divots for your common home key uh, locations here, so you can find keys. And once you actually start typing on it, uh, you'll notice that yes, the key sound is extremely loud. So of note of, as well, uh, he has put up a number of videos showing how to maintain the keyboard and steps that you need to do once you have one of these keyboards. Uh, I highly suggest you follow them because every keyboard will ultimately have at least one or two springs that have uh, shifted during shipping. So you have situations where certain keys like, like here for example, you can hear there's a slight bit of shaking here that can sometimes correspond with multiple keys being pressed versus some of the other keys which have a much more confident ki uh, click uh, and yes there are multiple function layers right now I currently have the function key defined as this guy right here and I've remapped some of the keys here like for example the WASD here for arrows along with page up page down home and end here uh, for a nice and easy use and because I actually have uh, this thing set up as a happy hacker keyboard layout here the tilde and back ticker up here the escape key is right here and yes, I did get all legendless keys. Uh, the keys here in question are PBT, so they, um, uh, they are extremely durable. And the finish on them is quite nice. It's a nice, very subtle matte finish on them, which makes them very comfortable to type on. Key actuation force is at just as you would expect from a buckling spring keyboard. That is, you won't accidentally press any of the keys when you uh, rest your fingers on the keyboard. It's actually kind of difficult to do that just by resting the keys on the keyboard here, but just a gentle enough press is enough to sufficiently 
activate the keys. I will say that my proclivity for bottoming out Cherry MX switches doesn't happen with this keyboard. So with that, just a small little introduction. I know some people are wanting to see how these Model F keyboards are shaking out, how good they are, um, you know, etc. Uh, and so far, I've been very, very happy with uh, this particular keyboard. I'm still getting used to some aspects of the layout. I keep wanting to hit arrow keys over here, for example, uh, but I didn't want the additional uh, keypad over here on the right-hand side, so I didn't get the 77 key model. It's fine. Um, so, I mean, with that, and there's the space bar. It also looks like the space bar will need some adjustment as well. But, this can all be fixed with a few minutes of basically popping the keys off and reseating the springs inside the barrels. Easy enough to do, and the video, there are videos showing you how to do that. So, I mean, with that, overall, I am extremely impressed. Joe did a fantastic job. Uh, see you guys.